Uh, yeah. And since... Yeah, we're print calling outside since my dad won't let me print call inside. Anyway, point being is uh, you sort of need to make that be loud. Yeah. All right, so can it's you... a go. Here we go. All right, loud. Like as loud as you can get it. Please. As loud as it go. There we go. That's perfect. So what are you calling again? Bill Magoon. Watch. I got B. Oh, the phone just go back in the corner. Yeah, so hello. Uh, is there a manager I could speak to, please? Yes, this is manager. Alright, please, can you uh, put her on? Put him or her on? Sorry? Can you please uh, put the manager on, please? Uh, yes, I can. How can I help you? Okay, that's you. Okay. Um, I had this is a really complicated story, and I and I uh, okay. I want you to stick with me here. So, okay. Okay. So there's uh, I bought uh, a brand new Xbox last year in about July or so, and I bought the extended warranty on it, and it uh, broke down. But that's not the that's not the first time it's happened too. There's also been a um. Okay, I I started buying a brand new Xboxes. Like I bought a brand new Xbox. In uh, 2009, in like the fall of 2009, and then there was another one in 2010, and then that broke down in June of 2011, and then I bought the uh, other one in July 2011, and then I bought extended warranties for um, all of them, and I was just wondering. Um, okay, it, it's it's been the third time that it's been broken down, so I was just wondering. Do you think maybe I could trade in the Xbox 360 for a PS3? Uh, well, yeah, definitely. What's wrong with your system, first off? Well, it just won't read the games. Every time, it won't read the games. Okay, is it one of the newer systems, or is it an older version of the system? You said you just bought it in the past year, so most likely it's a new one. Does it have well, a 4GB hard drive, or does it have a memory card, or does it have a 2GB hard drive? Well, like, uh, okay, like the 2011 one, I bought the black one. But then 2009 and 2010, I bought the white one with the memory card. So, I mean, it just, it's just not reading the discs. So I was just wondering, could I try that in for a PlayStation 3? Because, I mean, each... Well, each, it's, each it's, it's not an even exchange, but you can bring um, one of the systems in. The, the newest one's probably going to get you the most money. Bring that in, we can look at it, and uh, as long as it's powering up, even if it's not reading discs, we can still take in trade, and you would get credit for it. But you could then do it towards either a new or pre-owned PS3 system. All right, man, that's, that, I mean, that, that's really awesome. I mean, I, mean, I mean, I bought it new each time. And it's yeah. and it's been not working, so I, I don't know. So if it has to know less than a year, it is still covered through Microsoft. So that new system, you should still be able to get them to repair completely for free. But if you just want a PS3 and don't want the 360 anymore, you could still bring that one in and you know hopefully get something for it. Yeah, I, I, I'm not trusting Microsoft anymore. What's that? I said I'm not I, I'm not trusting Microsoft anymore. I think I'm ready for Sony systems. Gotcha. So just bring in your system with, you know, any games, any other things that you want to trade in. You can kind of build all that up and put it towards the use that you like. All right, man. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. Have a good day. You too. Bye. That wasn't really much of a prank. Yeah, well, nah, whatever. It's my own 